Coach Josh here, Pitch Mechanics 101. I uh, put something out on Twitter a while back about what kind of videos people wanted. One of the big things was how does mobility impact pitch mechanics? And I think one of the best examples of that is guys that don't have true dissociation between joints. And one of the biz biggest examples of that is in the hip joint itself, right? In the, the, the joint between the pelvis and the femur. Um, a lot of guys maybe don't have the ability to dissociate just this movement here and they want to rotate the pelvis to get internal rotation when in fact internal rotation should just be a femur in pelvis in the hip, uh, the ball in socket movement and not have to rotate the pelvis to get internal rotation if that makes sense. Um, and you see a lot of guys that when their hip move, or actually you'll see when the knee starts to cave down, the pelvis will start to rotate as well. It's a really good sign of a guy who may not have the, the ability to dissociate that internal rotation with hip rotate, with pelvis rotation, right? So there's a few different ways you can train this. Uh, the 90-90 sequence is really good. Um, but essentially the biggest thing you're looking for is when guys come and they start to rotate, right? Is when the knee goes, is the pelvis going with it? Or do they have the ability to get the, the, the knee to start to turn down and resist it with the pelvis? And the reason that's so important is because if I'm trying to internally rotate and I can't dissociate, I'm gonna to start to rotate my hips early. And if I start to rotate my hips early, if I don't have extreme anti-rotation strength, in my core, my shoulders are likely going to rotate early. That can create a whole bunch of sequence of issues, as I'm sure you guys know. Um, so it's it's vital that we can dissociate certain joints and be able to maximize how much a joint moves before the next one moves. Um, and to be honest, what I see with a lot of our guys is hip dissociation is the big one a lot of kids struggle with.